I, I appreciate that, Senator Murray, and I appreciate your, your saying that. I'm trying to be fair by, tr by treating uh, Mrs. DeVos in the same way we treated both of President Obama's education nominees. We'll go next to Senator Cassidy. Mr. DeVos, thanks. Good to see you again. Enjoyed our meeting uh, in anticipation of this. I'm really struck. Um, the kind of um, reaction your nomination has elicited. So let me just ask some questions. Do you support public education? Absolutely, Senator. Man, that's amazing. <laughs> you would think some would have us think that you do not. Do you believe that all children, all children deserve to have the opportunity to receive quality education? Absolutely, I do. Do you support the rights of all children, regardless of income or race? By the way, this means a lot to me, this next one. To have the option to choose the school that meets their child's needs? Absolutely, I do. And I commend you and your wife for the school that you started that's specifically focused on dyslexic students. I will tell you, by the way, my son, He's very bright, graduated from, uh, speaking of dyslexia, graduated from an inner city school, public school, and then graduated with honors from, a, from a, some fancy school northeast. And my daughter who has dyslexia, we're able to pay the tuition so that she can have her needs addressed. And not all parents can pay that tuition, so it matters very much to me that a parent, regardless of her income, can get her child's needs addressed. So thank you for doing that. Just a few more. Do you support the belief that decisions affecting our children's education are best left to the states and locals to decide to allow them to ta tailor the education policies and programs that best need, that best meet the needs of their students? I do indeed. Oh my gosh. You, do you view the role of the U.S. Secretary of Education as an opportunity to advance your personal education views and agenda? Not mine personally. I'm, I'm going to hopefully be able to advance this uh, President-elects and also the views of many, many parents nationally. Do you, as Secretary of Education, is it your intention to undermine our nation's public education system? Not at all. As Secretary, will you carry out the implementation of federal education laws in a way that reflects the very letter and intent of the law? Indeed. Do you intend to mandate, direct, coerce, or control any state, local, school district, our school on any education program that is specifically prohibited by the secretary in federal law, one such example being Common Core? No. Do you intend to mandate, direct, coerce, or control any state, local, school district, or school to require school choice policies, including private school vouchers or scholarships? No. Now, let's just clear that for the record. Uh, next, just you mentioned dyslexia. I am passionate about it. 20% of us are dyslexics, 20%. Mm -hmm. I'm told that one out of four children of color by age four read substantially, by fourth grade, read substantially below grade level. That's important because we learn to read, then we read to learn. If you've not learned to read, you're behind the eight ball. So that is an issue I'm passionate about. Um, um, as Secretary of Education, will you commit to working with me and others to find common ways to promote better awareness and understanding of dyslexia? And will you commit to working with me and this committee to develop better federal education policies to ensure that dyslexic children and all students with differences have the resources they need? I would look forward to that opportunity, Senator. Now, as Secretary, you may not agree to this one or not. Will you commit to working with me in this committee to develop new federal policies that will ensure the early screening for dyslexia in school? Are universal screenings for all students in school to ensure that any learning differences are diagnosed early and that the appropriate services are provided to students? I would look forward to exploring that with you to see whether that's a federal role or whether that's best left to the states, but I would look forward to that opportunity. That is a fair answer. I have a couple more I could ask, but this meeting is going long. I will thank you for your answers, and I will yield back. Thank you, Senator. <coughs> thank you, Senator Cassidy.